Good morning once again. Uh, Degler is usually at this time, no? very slow. So anyway, we'll have to make do with our, I have a worksheet anyway. No? Can you excuse me a while? I'm sorry for the disturbance now. Okay. So uh worksheets we have a okay pull up. number systems no that's what where we started. You can you can download this no in uh no in our regular class no? So number systems, particularly uh, okay. These are the main number systems that are used in computers. No, uh, primarily we use the decimal system okay. in worksheets, in programming languages. We use the decimal system, but internally, no, uh, the CPU uses binary numbers. No, so the digits are zero to one, and the base is two. So, uh. 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1st, 2 to the 2nd. No? Hexadecimal is used in assembly language. No? So the number 0 to F, 0 to 9, and then let, letter A stands for number 10, B stands for 11, C 12, no? and so on and so forth. Binary codes allow us to uh, process uh, characters. No? So we know the ASCII codes. The old IBCD code is used by IBM in their old computers. We no longer use them anyway. So you know bits, nibbles, and bytes, right? Bits, nibbles, and bytes. The smallest unit is bits. Uh, a nibble is a group of four bits. A byte is a group of two nibbles. A word is 16 bits. A long word is 32 bits. And a big word is 64 bits. We call them that. So decimal place values from MSB to LSB. The most significant bit, usually on the left side, will have the biggest place value. The least significant, significant bit on the right side is the one with the smallest place value. So it's a grouping of eight bits. No? So the first place value is two to the zero, which is the number one, ito, right? The second place value is two to the one, ito which is the number one, not number two, no? Number one, ito, number two. Then two squared, this is the exponent, this is the number four. Next is two cubed, which is the number eight. Two to the fourth, which is the number 16. Two to the fifth, which is 32. Two to the sixth is 64. Two to the seventh is 28. What's the maximum value? We say two to the, two to the eight minus one, okay? Do you follow? Two to the eight minus one, yun na natin kailangan bibilangin isa. Ibig sabihin, 2 to the n plus 1 minus 1. Okay? You follow? Ganun ang pag-compute. Now, in a sign integer, usually the most significant bit is paired no? to uh, store the sign bit. So when s the sign bit is 1, it's used usually to signify a negative value. Okay? You know how to represent ne negative values, right? It's called two's complement representation. No? Okay? So invalid, these are the invalid values, no? There are invalid values for integers, those with fractions, no? Usually integers are whole numbers, okay? Decimal and binary integers, what's the main difference, no? So for example, the number 13 in decimal means that the number one has a place value of 10 to the one and the number three has a place value of 10 to the zero. So we have one, three, 
a base 10. Okay, the number 13. So digits, in decimal, we call them dig digits. In binary, we call its value as bit, in short for binary digit. Okay, so for example, the number 13 is 110. The first one will have a place value of 2 to the 3, which is 8. Okay, the second one will have a place value of uh, 2 squared, which is 4. So 8 plus 4 is 12. Okay. The zero, the zero, so one one zero zero one. My one padita no squared. The zero signifies uh, uh, zero times two to the first. Anyway, it's a zero, and the last is uh, the last one is uh, two to the one plus times times one. No, it should be yeah. Two to the two two to the one. Two to the one is. Oh no, sorry, sorry, no. Uh, two to two, zero times two to the one. It's a zero. And the last one is one times two to the zero, which is one. So we'll have eight plus four plus one. So that's 13. Do you follow? So the number 13, base 10 in binary is 1101, base 2. We usually write the base as a subscript. It's a subscript. Do you follow? To mean that the place values are an incrementing. Uh, exponent of the base. Okay, incrementing exponent, no? Do you follow? Fractions. See how do you represent one half? How do you represent one tenth? No? Do you follow? Okay. In decimal, we have 0. 0.6251. Can you see that? I'm sorry about this, ano, no? Kasi pag na compress siya, pag, ano, pag lipat sana. But in decimal, we have 0. 0.625 base 10. Do you follow? Okay. Ang ibig sabihin ng 0.625, it means that you have 10 to the negative 1 times times 6. Okay? 10 to the negative 1 times 6. Okay? And 2 times 10 to the negative 2. 6 times 2 to the negative 1 plus 2 times 10 to the negative 2. And we have 5 times 10 to the negative 3. So as we go to the right, we go an incrementing negative exponent. If it's been, what we mean by 10 to the negative 1 is 1 over 10. And what we mean by 10 to the negative 2 is 1 over 100. And 10 to the negative 3 is 1 over 1,000, right? Do you follow? The equivalent of 0.625 is 0 0.1012. Because uh, the first one means 2 to the negative 1. 2 to the negative 1 is 1 over 2 or 1 half. 0 stands for 2 to the negative 2 or 1 fourth. Okay? And 1 stands for 2 to the negative 3 or 1 eighth. So, ganito yan, no? So, the first, in, the first 6 is 1 over 10. 2 is 1 over 100. 5 is 1 over 1,000. Okay? That's 0. 0.625. In binary, 1 times 1 half, 1 times 1 fourth, 1 times 1 eighth. We go smaller as we go to the right. Okay? Any questions so far? No? Do you follow? Fixed point representation. There are two ways to represent uh, fractions. Na? Fixed point and floating point. Okay? When you say fixed point, we, de we designate a certain position to be the position of the point. It's either a decimal point or a binary point. Okay? It acts like a divider between the integer and the fraction. So, for example, when we say 26.5, the point separates the integer, which is 26, and the point 0.5, which is the fraction. When we say 1101.0.1 base 2, there's a, an integer of 11010 and a fraction of 0.1 or 1 half. Okay. Any questions? No? <coughs> so 26.5 is base 10 is equal to 11010.1. Okay. So ang ibig sabihin nito is we have the first one. Itong one is 1 to 2 to the fourth. The second one is 1 to 2 to the third. 0 is 1 squared. 0 is 2 squared. Okay. 
And another one which is 1 to the 2. And we have a 0 again, which is 2 to the 0. And we have a 1, which is 2 to the 1. What do we mean by this is the first one is a 16. The second one is an 8. The 0 is a 2. Okay. And uh, 1, 1, this, this is 16, this is 8, this is 4. No, this is a 2 and this is a 1 half. Do you follow? Yung mga zero, we skip the zeros because they don't count anyway, no? So 16 plus 8 plus 2 plus 0.5 is 26.5. Okay? That's fixed point percentage. Uh, no. Can record na ba tayo? Yes. Okay, thank you. <coughs> okay, in a fixed point number, okay, the range is the whole number part. The accuracy is the fra fractional part. Now, why are computers not just limited to fixed point numbers? There's a main drawback. Do you follow? The main drawback is the fixed point representation has limited accuracy. That's true. If you have a limited number of decimal places. No? Sometimes when you have 0 0.5000, 0, 0, sayang yung 0, 0, 0 because they are not used at all. Okay? So the alternative for fixed point representation is floating point representation. Okay. An efficient way of storing functions is called floating point. The main difference, it's called floating point because the decimal point is not fixed. It's not fixed at a particular position. Do you follow? No? Okay. It can float. It can float to the left. It can float to the right. Okay. It involves by which in, it, it involves a process which is done by splitting the fraction into two parts, an exponent and a mantisa. Okay. Any question so far? Exponent and mantisa, no? Okay. The exponent represents a value raised to the power of two. Okay. And the mantisa, also called the significant, represents a, a fractional value between zero and one. For example, we consider the number 26.5. 12.5. No? The number is first converted into the format 2 to the n. No? n is the uh, exponent times 0 0.00x. Okay? And xxxx is the mantisa. So whole number yung mantisa. The, the mantisa is a whole number. Okay? Any questions so far? Okay, we're going back to grade four, no? Anyway, okay. Pero baka wala ito because floating point na ito eh. This floating point, so wala ito sa grade school most probably, no? Okay. <coughs> Maroon ba tayong example? Yes. Now, in computers, no? There are two versions. How the floating point numbers are stored in computers is defined by a by a strict standard. Merong nag-define ito. How do you store a 32-bit floating point or a 64-bit floating point number in a computer? Do you follow? So the 32-bit floating point, we call that sing single. no Single precision. That's why in C++, when we say float, that's a single float. Okay? That's a single float. When we say double, that's a double float, which means it's 64 bits. Remember, no? In any programming language, when you say single, that's a 32-bit floating point pick number. When we say double, it's a 64-bit floating point number. They're the same in, in except that, of course, the 64-bit number has a bigger magnitude. Ibig sabihin, it can store bigger and smaller values. Do you follow? Both bigger and smaller. Okay, because it can store very small fractions and can store very large integers. Okay. So any questions so far? No. So this is not useless, no, anyway. We're going to use this in uh, computer org no? later. Here is the representation. We will only describe the 32-bit. Kasi pareho lang naman sila. Okay. Mas malaki lang yung ano. In the single point, single precision, floating point, 
the leftmost bit is the sign bit. Okay? Okay? If it's 1, it's negative. And 0 for positive. Okay? The exponent is, it uses a bias of 1 to 7. We will discuss the bias later. The mantisa is stored as a binary value using an encoding technique. How do you encode? Okay? For example, we have 12.5. We continue dividing 12.5 until the integer part becomes a zero. And we count the number of times that we divide. Do you follow? Any questions so far? So ganun lang. We just continue dividing until the integer part is a zero. And then the fractional part becomes the, the mantisa. Okay? And the number of divisions becomes the exponent okay for example 12.5 divided by 2 is 6.25 is the result already a zero the, the integer part anyone no no so we continue dividing again 6.25 divided by 2 3.25 1 to 5 it's 3 it's not a zero right so we continue dividing again 3.125 divided by 2 it's 1.5625, my one paren. We continue dividing again. And when, then we have 1.5625 divided by 2. So it becomes 0.78125. This is now a zero. Do you follow? So 78125 becomes the mantisa. Take note, it floats. No? The floating point, the, the decimal places floats depending on the exponent. So therefore, we say that... Uh, uh, 12.125 is represented in binary as 0.7825 times 2 raised to the power of 4 because there are four divisions. No, The exponent is, is 4. The mantisa is 0.78125. Any questions so far? Okay, so then, 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 no? now in the in the floating po in the no, in the IEEE standard, what do we mean by exponent bit pattern stored in a, as an excess of one to seven? This means that the value is added to the exponent. After computing the exponent, we add a bias of one to seven. Okay, why is that? Because without the bias, there will be two zeros, a positive zero and a negative zero. So we will have a bias so that there will be the zero will be removed. As the, man, the mantisa is a positive value with a sign bit of zero. Okay? Okay? Do you follow? No? <clears throat> okay. So whatever the result is for the exponent, we added a bias of 1 to 7 for the I, I e lang ito ha? Sa I e. Okay? Okay? So for example, 4 plus 1 to 7 is 1, 3, 1. So, okay. So, assign bit is zero. No? So, this is now our exponent. Dadagdagan natin ng 1 to 7. To work out the mantisa, each bit is a power of 2 of a negative number. So, ito na. Okay. 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 0 0.78125. 0 0.78125 is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.0135. Okay? 0, 3, 1, 3, 2, 5. This is just by, ano, we just convert 0 0.78125 to binary. Do you follow? Do you follow? So, ganun lang naman eh. So, it undergoes a little process of normalization, which means that after con converting the mantisa, we drop off the last one. So yung last one, it drop off natin. Okay? And the exponent is adjusted to become whatever the value we drop off is. For example, 131 yung ating exponent, we minus it by 1. Okay? So 130 is this. Why is it like that? Uh, this, is, this is a standard so that all, all, all numbers will only have... Because there's a confusion in terms of the... Uh, storage or the con conversion of the value zero. Okay. Uh, sir, nakatoff ka, sir. Nakatoff ako? 
Uh, oh. gamay, gamay lang katong before gi explain ni mo katong 131 minus 1. Really? Can we just resume any? Anyway, no? Uh, okay. So, ganito yun, no? So, the exponent is is added a 1 to 7 value. Okay? 4 plus 1 to uh. 7, this is, the, the, this is the exponent. Okay? And then we have to work out the mantisa. First, we convert the mantisa into into binary. Do you follow? You know how to convert into binary? A divide by 200. Ah, oh, but, but there's an easy way if you have Excel. Let's do that, no? Anyway, let's do that later. Okay? I'm sorry. From current slide. Okay? But I convert into binary. So when you convert this to binary, this 11001. Do you follow? We just pad it with yeah. zeros. Kasi insignificant naman yung iba, di ba? Hmm. Okay. And then we drop off the first one. Whatever is the first one, there's there's the first one. Ito, ito, it, it drop off natin ito. Whatever the value is, it drop off ito. Tatanggalin natin. And then we will add it to the exponent. Or we subtract it to the exponent. Now if it's a zero, there's no problem if it's a zero, right? Hmm. But if it's a one, we minus it. So the exponent is one three zero. So that the final value is assembled. So ito na ngayon yung ating uh, exponent. Do you follow? This is now our exponent. This is now our uh, mantisa. Okay? Do you follow? That's only yeah. the IEEE standard. Sa atin, hindi na natin problema yan. Okay? We, we, we can have a, an, ano, a, a simple floating point. Sir, question sir. Uh, kung ang mantisa, sir, di ba kay ganina, kay 11001. Yes. So, pagka itong, so first, ang first na one, kay Gitanggal, so na yung 1001 na lang. Yes. What if ang mantisa kay 0001? Kaya napay, first, sa first na one. Ay, no, no, okay. hindi naman talaga yan mag-zero eh, di ba? Hindi naman talaga yan mag-zero lahat because we just keep dividing. Look at the mantisa will never have a, a, a zero on the first because uh, we, when you divide, hindi naman talaga ito mas zero, right? Hindi naman talaga ito mas zero. Lahat. Now, if there's a zero here, we drop off this, that zero. But the next will not be a zero. It will not be a zero. Okay. Okay, we drop off the zero and we subtract nothing because it's a zero. Okay. Do you follow? Now, now let's yes, go sir. back. Let's go back to how do you con con convert numbers, rather fractional values. For example, we have 0.78125. How do you convert this to binary in Excel? Di ba sa Excel meron tayong deck to bin? Do we have a deck to bin? Oh, pero hindi ito pwede gamitin ang deck to bin because deck to bin only works with whole numbers. Do you follow? So 0.78125, let's do that in Excel. We'll have point seven seven eight one two five. Okay, iba point seven. We'll do the mas ang pinaka simple is uh, pick mark and subtract. Okay, iba pick mark and subtract. Uh, we have one two four. Right, this is one half. Dito yah. Eh, sorry, one. This is 1 over 2. Bakit ayaw? 1 over 2. One half. Sorry, let's format this. Format sales as number. Lakyan natin ang decimal places. Bakit ganun? Equals 1 over 2. Okay, one half. The next is one fourth, right? The next is one eighth. Nandito yung ating decimal point. Diba? Nandito yung in between. Ito one, this is two, four, eight. It, this is one half, this is one fourth, one eighth. What is this? One over 16. You follow? This is one over 32. And this is one over 
64. You can go as much, no? Pero hanggang dyan lang tayo. Because not all, by the way, not all decimal numbers can have a complete uh, conversion into binary. Kasi iba ang base nila eh. Base 10 sa ka base, base 2. Okay? So, may, may, most of the numbers no, can be converted. Kasi pareho silang even. Pero for example, base 10 o base, saka base 3, hindi yan sila compatible. No? So, 0.78. What can we subtract? We cannot subtract this. We cannot subtract this. We cannot subtract this. 0.78. What can we subtract? 0.5. Right? So, 1 ito. We pick the biggest that we can subtract. Okay? In minus natin. Equals this minus this. Okay? 0.28. What can we subtract from 0.28? Tapos na sa tayo sa 0.5. Pwede 0.25. 0.25. Yes. Yeah. So we, we, we pick this, we mark, and we, we subtract 0.25. Then we subtract. You can make a better formula. No? There's a better formula. 0.3125. That's the result. We will stop until we get to zero, okay? Or we get to a very small number. We consider it to be insignificant. 0.3125. What can we subtract? We cannot subtract this because this is bigger. Do you follow? So, I mark natin yan zero. Can we subtract this? This is still bigger. Right? So, yes, we mark sir. zero. Can we subtract this? Yes. yes. Okay, pwede. So, pwede mag-subtract na tayo ngayon ng 0 0.03125. Okay, we minus. What's the result? Zero. So, we stop because we now have a zero. So, uh, 0 0.78125 is 11001. Okay? So, ganun lang, di ba? So, kaya siya 11001. Okay? You can work out a better worksheet, no? In fact, uh, mas madali na, ang nakahaba nitong worksheet na yon is you continue to divide. But but you can have just one formula. Let's do that. I think we can do that, no? Kasi pwede naman natin gawin ganito, eh. Pwede natin isum, di ba? What's, what's the place value here? Equals this times that. Yan ang value niya, di ba? All of this. Mm. Yung mga place value niya. Right? Isum natin. Yeah. Isum natin ito ngayon. Okay. Uh, Isam natin. Gawin muna natin zero. Zero muna lahat. Ibig sabihin, uh, wala pa tayong ma-pick. Ito yung place value niya. Okay? And then we'll get the sum. Uh, pwede naman siya ganyan, di ba? Uh, yeah. And then auto sum. Kaya ba niya? Hindi dito auto sum? Ay, hindi, nag auto sum. Dito siya sa kabila. Nag auto sum. Okay. Sorry. Ito yan. And our, our number is 0 0.78125. 5. So, equals this minus this. Do you follow? You get my point? Iyon yung minus natin yun doon. Okay? So first, we pick this. We mark this as 1, right? Oh. So, naging 0.5 na ito ngayon siya. Tapos nag-minus na siya dito, right? And then, we can, can we pick this? Yes, we pick mark. Okay? So we have 0.3125, right? So we can pick, pick this, we can pick this, but we can pick this. We mark this. Now, this is a 0. So we stop now. Diba? Mas madali. 
Okay. So we now have one one zero zero one. Okay. So you know the formula. No. Mas madali kung may Excel. Okay. So anyway, that's how how to do it. Meron ba tayong problems dito? We have assignments. Let me check in our Daigler. No, may ina kasi Daigler. May dadagdag pa ako dito, no? Wala pa tayo. No, wala pa tayong assignment. We will have the first assignment when we uh, reach logic gates. Problems 1, 2. No? This, this, ano? We'll have this, but I haven't up updated it this yet. So anyway, we, we will not have an assignment yet. Uh, can we just review how, how do you compute negative numbers uh, you ano sir um, you switch katong two's sign bit uh, pinaka two's complement Hi. Okay. nandito no okay can we go through this I'll upload this anyway no pag ma, hindi na mabagal ang regular so, no. so this is binary subtraction. When you do binary addition, madali lang, no? 1 plus 1 equals 1 carry 1, di ba? Ano? 1 plus 1 equals 0 carry 1. Right? 1 plus 0, 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 0 plus 1 is 1. The only diff unique part is 1 plus 1 is 0. Right? 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1. So which means 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. Right? Diba? 1, 0 in binary. Okay. When you subtract, you say 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. But we borrow 1. Oh, no. That's correct. 0, no? But 0 minus 1 is equal to 1. But we borrow one. Okay? So, pa parang kabaligtar rin siya. So, for example, we have this. Uh, 1 to 3.75 minus 85. 1 to 3.75 is like this. Right? Do you follow? And minus 85.5, this is 85.5. Do you follow? So, we do. 1 minus 0, 1. Right? 1 minus 1. 0. 1 minus 1, 0. 1 minus 0, 1. 0 minus 1 cannot be. So what we'll do is, we will borrow this one. Okay? Okay? So, bakit ganito? 1, 0. This is not 1 minus 1. But this is 1, 0. zero 1, 0 minus 1 is 1. They follow because the borrow is not a 1. It's a 10 kung sa decimal, right? Do you follow? Because when you borrow, this is not a 1. This is a 1, 0. 1, 0 because it's, this is one place value higher. Right? So 1, 0 minus 1 is 1. Do you get the point? Two yes, minus sir. See, yung 2 yung 1, 0 eh. Minus 1 is 1. And this becomes a 0. This is a 0. 1 minus 1 is a 0. 1 minus 0 is a 1. 1 minus 1 is a 0. So this is 38.5. If you, if you convert this, this is 0.25. Oh. Do you follow? This is 0.5. This is 0.25. Okay. We will, uh, ito, uh, alam na nyo ito, no? Siguro. Kasi this is, this exam, this is the maximum value is 2 to the n minus 1. Okay. Given an n bit number. For example, if n is 4, 4-bit four digits, so the last value is 15, 0 to 15. 1's complement. What is 1's complement? Once com when you say 1's complement, <coughs> given a 2n-bit integer, uh, Robert, 
two two in between integers x and y are ones complement if no x plus y is two to the n minus one. Do you follow? They sum to the same the same. For example, one one zero one. What is the ones complement? One one zero one is what is one one zero one? X no. Given one zero one zero. Okay. This is ten. The number ten, right? Zero, one, two, four, eight. This is the number ten, right? Okay. What is the ones complement of the number ten? What we we do is we convert the next. No, we get the next power of two after ten. What is the next power of two after ten? Sixteen, di ba? One, two, four, eight. Pagkatapos ng eight is sixteen, right? Ten is between eight and sixteen. So the next power of two after ten is sixteen. So sixteen minus one is fifteen. Do you follow? Minus na natin yun ng one because x and y are ones complement if x plus y is equal to two to the n minus one. Minus na natin ng isa. Okay, so 16 minus 1 is 15. So 15 minus 10, 5 is the ones complement of 10. Do you follow? Do you follow? What is the ones complement of 10? 5. Bucket. 10 plus 5 is 15. The next power is 16. Do you follow? I hope you follow. No. What is the ones complement of 9? Anyone? What is the ones complement of nine? Six. Because nine plus six is fifteen. Okay. What is the ones complement of twenty? What is the next power of two after twenty? Thirty-two. Minus one. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Diba thirty-one? So the next pa the ones complement of twenty is eleven. Do you follow? Ah, uh, okay. Yes. To make a long story short, there's a, an easy way to do that. No, look at this. Five, uh, ten is one zero one zero, right? It's one's complement, which is five, is zero one zero one. Which means that to find out the one's complement of a number, you don't have to compute the next power of two and the, and, and so on and so forth. The one minus one, you're going through that long process. What you do is just convert zero, 1 to 0 and 0 to 1. Right? Diba? So 1, 0, 1, 0, you invert, it becomes 0, 1, 0, 1. Do you get my point? That's the easy way. The long way is 2 to the n minus 1. So itong 2 to the n minus 1, mahabang process ito. The easy way is just to convert it to the binary and invert from the 1 to 0 and 0 to 1. Okay? So which means that the complement of, of a number in binary can be computed by flipping zeros and 1s. You can test that. 20 and 11, convert them to ano, binary. Diba flipping lang. Okay? Let's do that in Excel anyway, no? There's a short way to do that, no? We have 20... 11, we can use deck, deck to bin, right? 1, 0, 0, 0, equals deck to bin of this, of 11. Lagyan natin ito ng isang 0, right? Kasi i-move natin eh, right? I-write a line, 0, the equal value is 1, 0, 1, 1. Do you follow? Diba? Oh, so, sorry, let's, let's, put, let's put a string. Okay. I-write align natin, okay? Do you follow? This is 11. Kulang lang, kailangan natin lang yan ng leading 0. So take note, it's just a flipping of 0 and 1. Do you follow? So, that's a short way. What has it something to do with negative numbers? It's subtraction. Anong, anong ibig sabihin nito sa, sa subtraction? Okay? <coughs> okay. 
Okay, ito wala. Ito, sa tools complement. What is the tools complement? The tools complement is the ones complement plus one. Do you follow? Do you follow? Okay. So, for example, uh, the tools complement of one, one, zero, one, zero, one, one. What is one, zero, one, one? This is one, two, four, eight. 11. 11 ba? 8 plus 2 is 10. 11. Right? 11. Okay? The ones complement, the two's complement is the one's complement plus 1. Okay? So the one's complement of 1011 is 011 plus 1, that's 1010. Okay? Do you follow? Okay? One zero, uh, 0101, I'm sorry, no? Okay? If you reverse that, 0101, zero, one, okay, and take the one's complement, 10 one, zero, plus, one, zero, plus 1, that goes back. That goes back to 11, diba? Okay. So which means that when you continue reversing, uh, applying the, the two's complement, you go back to the same value every now and then. Which means that the two's complement actually is the negative representation of the number. So to, to subtract, what you do is to convert the number, the negative number into two's complement and you do an add. Okay. Binary fractions, no? Meron itong discussion ng binary fractions. Okay. But for the moment, we can do binary subtraction by converting uh, the negative number into in two's complement and doing an add. Let's do that, no? Okay. For example, we will have uh, 20, uh, 20, 22 minus, minus 13. Do you follow? What is 22? 16. Uh, let, let's convert 22. 22 is what? 16, 8, 2, a 4, 2, 1. Diba? So this is a 1. This is a 0. This is a, a 1. This is a 0. This is a 1. That's 22, right? 22. 16 plus 4 is 20. No, dapat ito ang, ito ang ano. Ito ang 1. Ito ang 0. Okay? What's a 13? What's a 13? This is a 0. This is a 1. This is a 1. This is a 0. This is a 1. Okay? 13. Right? Now, the 1's complement of 13 is... One's complement of 13 is 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. And two's complement is we had a 1. 1 here. So this is a 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay? So, idadagdag na lang natin ito. Do you follow? Ito sila idadagdag natin. So this is uh, 22 plus 13. A uh, minus 13, okay? 0 minus 1. Cannot, this is a 1. With a carry. Right? So, magiging zero na ito. Borrow with a borrow. Right? Kasi one, zero, one. Now, this is now a zero. We cannot, so we have to borrow. This, this will become a zero. So, one, zero minus one. This is a one. And now, zero minus zero is a zero. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not a zero minus. It's a plus, no? Now, wala tuloy ako. We are not supposed to minus. 
we are supposed to plus, no? Let's do that again. Zero plus one is one. One plus one is zero, carry one. Do you follow? No. One plus one is zero, carry one. One plus one, one plus zero plus zero is one. One plus one is zero, carry one. Do you follow? Do you follow? Okay. So this is one, one, two, eight. Tama pa tayo? Kasi, yes. Eight plus one, this is now a nine. Diba? Nine. Okay. So 22 minus 13 is a nine. Okay. Now, if the spillover is a plus, it's positive. If the spillover is a zero, ito yung spillover, right? If a spillover is zero, it's negative. Do you follow? Can you, can you try that? 13 minus 22. 13 minus 22. Can you excuse me a while? I'll just go to the CR now. Okay, what's 13 minus 22? We'll, let's have another, ano. Uh, kailangan natin ang 16, ano. Eh, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. Okay, 13 is what? This is 0. 0, 6, 6, this is 1. Uh, this is a 1. 0, 1. Okay. What is 22? And in 22 in, ano, this, in 20, for 22, we will have one of this. 16 plus 8, 8, 16, 24. So, brana, di ba? We'll have one, another one of this. 16 plus 4, I mean this. Okay? And the 22 ones complement. The ones complement of 22 is 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. We'll add 1 for the 1's complement. So 1 plus 1 is a 0. Okay, carry 1. So 1 ito. This is 0. This is a 1. This is a 0. Okay, this is the 2's complement. 2's complement of 22. Okay, tama ba? Yes. So, ang 13 ngayon, we'll just copy this and add them. Diba? Dadagdag na lang natin. Ito yung 13 eh. Right? Let's insert a little. Insert pa tayo ng isa. Okay, meron tayong mga ano, mga carry. 0 plus 1 is a 1. 1 plus 0 is a 1. 0 plus 1 is a 1. 1 plus 1 is a 0. Here, 1. Do you follow? 1 plus 0 plus 0 is a 1. And the class carry is a 0. Kasi wala spillover eh. Diba? Do you follow? Wala tayong spillover, right? Which means if the, last, the, the spillover is a 0, the result is a negative. Do you follow? This is a negative value. Okay. Let's try to convert this. This is 16. Oh, so, hindi pwede, no? Okay. Okay. So, this is a negative value. How do we compute the value of this? Since this is a value in, in negative, this must be in two's complement also. Right? Diba? 
So what we'll do is add one. We'll convert this. No, we'll convert this into one's complement. Zero, one, zero, zero, zero. And add one to it. So we'll have zero, one, zero, zero, one. So what is this? This is one, two, four, eight. So this is a nine, right? So this value is actually, what is this value? This is nine in two's complement. Negative nine. Oh, negative nine. Do you follow? Do you get my point? No? Yes. Okay. So you just have to be familiar with binary numbers, no? including fractions. Including fractions. Kasi gagamitin natin ito sa floating point arithmetic. Okay? Floating point arithmetic. We are going to discuss an arithmetic logic unit or a, 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 shall we say, a subtraction of addition and subtraction of floating points. No? Now, how do you find the two's compl complement of a binary fraction? Pareho lang. Do you follow? To find the two's compl complement of the, a binary fra fraction, uh, we convert the integer and the fractional part to one's complement. And then adding one to the last significant bit. What is the last least significant bit? The, 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 the bit with the one. Do you follow? Do you follow? No? For example, 123.75 is the equivalent in binary. Sorry. 123.75. Dadali na lang ito bibili. Ano yun? Ano yun? Ito yung worksheet. Okay lang. Kailangan natin ng mas malaki. Kasi ano eh. Hanggang 4 lang tayo dito eh. Do you follow? Yes sir. You have to believe me na. That the 123.25 is this. No? To do a once complement, we add one because this is the least significant bit. Dito ka magdagdag. For example, if you have 110, if this is a 110, you do not add 1 to the, the, the 0. Right? You add 1 to the least significant 1. Okay? Okay? Do you follow? So we add 1. So this is the 1's complement. We convert into 1's complement and add 1. 1, this becomes 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Okay? Do you follow? That's the two's complement of one to one twenty three point seventy five. Okay, you can reverse this, no, and find out that it's really the negative of one twenty three point seventy five. Okay. Okay. How do you convert a two's complement integer to decimal? Is there a shortcut? Okay. Compute the binary sum. If the MSB is a 1, let, let's look at that again. What's our, no? 1 ba pag negative? Zero. Let, let me just double check this, okay? Because uh, at, at assuming that it's already a two's complement number, okay? Assuming that you know that it's a two's complement number, okay? How do you convert it into decimal quick, quickly? Do you follow? How do you convert it into decimal quickly? Para mabilis. Okay. You look at the MSB. If the MSB is a 1, compute the binary sum of all the MSB assigned with the MSB assigned a negative place value. 
Okay. For example, we know that this is a a, a, a complete a two's complement number. One one zero zero one one. The place value of this is one. This is two. This is four. This is eight. This is sixteen. Right. So we assign a negative sixteen of the MSV because it's a one. Eight zero that and, and if you total them, that's a negative five. Do you follow? Okay. For example, we know the, 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 the problem with a two's complement form is they are always padded to have the same length. No? The one's complement and the two's complement should be padded so that they will have the same length. Okay. So for example, this is a zero. Okay. Now this if the MSB is a zero, extend to the next higher bit. So zero, ito, what is the next higher bit? It's one, two, four, eight, sixteen. The next higher bit is a 32. So mag-extend tayo ng isa. Negative 32 plus 0 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. That's a negative 17. Do you follow? Do you follow? I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Now, the, 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 the biggest question is, can you apply this to a binary fraction? We'll find out, no? We'll find out. And the, uh, I haven't found my worksheet no? yet. Anyway, I'm not going to give you an assignment yet. No, We'll go back to this later when we look at digital logic. For the moment, that's enough for uh, binary numbers. Okay, I'll upload this in. Uh, no? I think I haven't uploaded this yet. No? What's the title? Subtraction of numbers and representation of negative values. Okay. I'll upload this to Daigler kasi pambaga lang Daigler ngayon eh. So any questions? Next meeting we will introduce a new topic and then by then I will give you the first exercise, no? First exercise. Okay? So can we end early? No? It's lunch time anyway. Any other questions now? I'll upload this. Wala pa ito doon sa ating site, but I will upload this, okay? okay. So thank you very much, everyone. No? This is recorded. I'll upload this to our site. Any other questions? No, lang, sir. Sige, thanks for coming. No? See you next meeting. Next thank meeting is uh, Tuesday. Okay. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you